Welcome back to another episode of Put Me in the Game podcast. I'm your host, Buck Co. I'm in here with the guys today. We got us a legend in the building. We're going to get to him last. Got my boy JB behind the camera. What's happening, JB? What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? We good, brother. How you what, Mook? Man, I'm chilling. Getting into it. Got my guy in here today. Let's get to it, man. It's a good one. It's going to be a goodie. Yeah, we got us a legend, man. State champion right here, man. Big dog. One of the best teams ever in the history of Indiana. Shit, uh, just in the history of high school basketball. Feel me to do, yeah, really, to do their thing. Justin Cage, what's up, Justin? How you what, man? Chilling, man. Appreciate y'all having me. Oh, you yeah. already know. Long overdue. Had to bring my dog. Appreciate it. Yeah. But uh, let's get into it. Let's jump right into it. I know uh, you ain't really grew up in the Pike area. So what kind of got you to even get you over here? You know what I'm saying? Was it people you seen ahead of you or you just moved? What happened? How did you even get over here? Man, I was really wasn't even playing basketball like that. Uh, I don't even know how. Some kind of way, uh, my mom or my dad or something like that was like, they got some thing called AAU. Right. Basketball, like trial type stuff, you know. Uh, I was playing like a lot in Kentucky, but like parks and stuff like that, and different parks around Indianapolis. And then I went to my first tryout. I didn't have. I don't think I had a pair of shorts. I had like I came in like jeans and a sweater. Yeah. And, uh, oh, you was linked out. <laughs> you know I, mean? I ain't know nothing about none of that. Uh, I was playing for the uh, uh, municipal guards. Okay. Started out. That was, that was pretty much it, man. I, the, I think it was Burgess had some practice I made. Coach was like, you ain't never going to be good. And wow. that was my, from till I retired, that was my yeah. my driving yeah. force. Uh, yeah. I yeah. never liked match, him. Huh? Yeah, I never liked him. I still don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> nigga just told you you weren't going to be good. Cause so you ain't never going to be good. And then Bro, that's like a teacher telling you, nigga, yeah. you ain't going to never be shit. Yeah. Same thing. It's crazy. You come up under what I come up under, too. You come up under the uh, legendary Gary Betts like me. How was it playing for Coach Betts? Man, he got so many uh, coming through where we come from. Betts was, Betts was nuts. Like, he would tell you, like, he would try to throw you out there in a failure situation and tell you to step up, yeah. suck it up. He, uh, I remember he was playing uh, Chris Paul and them in Michigan, and he got so mad, he just told everybody to sit on the floor. He Neil Young. He do shit like that, bro. Best to have all these different stories, man. Uh, I mean, he's 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 one of the probably the best coach, one of the best coaches I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Even to yeah. this day, he still check up on yeah. all of us in his own way. Facts. Now, best the kind of coach he good for your mental. Like if you ain't that confident of a player, you need or your kid, you need to play for best, bro. Mm. Cause he, I watched him do Phil Collins when he playing with my brother. Come down. We not playing the game. Nobody do nothing. So he hit a three from almost half court, bro. Phil might have shot 15 in a row. Nobody couldn't do nothing, bro. Nobody moved until he hit the three, bro. He kept doing that shit, and he finally hit it, then they start playing. Phil start shooting better, confidence through the roof. Yeah. He one of them dudes that's just good for your mental, bro. Like, you need that type of shit. Yeah, that's I know when coach. me and Cage coaching, we kind of like, we we try to get guys that freedom. Like, bro, play, bro. Yeah. Do you. We don't try to put. That's what I was going to ask. Do when y'all coach, do y'all use some Coach Bet style? And honestly, the idea was like they they a lot harsher. I'm harsh. They a lot harsher. Yeah. You know, like they like any mistake. <clears throat> kids is overrunning. So when they get in the game, they're not doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and whatever they decide to do, I don't even. Yeah, he don't on the same page. We come up the same way. So yeah. we we give them all the do your thing. No, don't be scared or nothing like that. But. Like that's just kind of our philosophy. If you come out, if you come out playing scared, you're not gonna play. Yeah. Come out, mm -hmm. especially not yeah. for us. Yeah. You can't be scared. Yeah. Like, uh, like at shit, Pike right play. now, at Pike right now, it's kind of you got me, Jay, Cage, Phil. They're like you got expectations, bro. Yeah. You got guys in front of you that did what you're trying These to do. So we not hearing, we not hearing nothing else but greatness, bro. Yeah. Like we can't see it. So it'd be times where people not doing shit that we used to. Yeah, and we can't understand it, bro. We like we just talking to each other. Like, I don't understand this because we really don't, bro. Like Pike was different, bro. Yeah. From him, they cracked it off, bro. From it, well, CT and them, but they showed us a way of 
a life basically. Like yeah. this is how you make it in life, bro. You gotta be a dog. No, for real. This is what it is. So we just trying to get it back to that. But nah. So y'all had one of the best teams that we ever seen in this state. Ever. Hands y'all down. came up against a young Mike Conley and Greg Oden though. How was that? Running into that early. Did you see like damn they gonna be something? Yeah, you could tell like that they had a good squad and with them two players, a big like that and pure point guard, you know, we knew that they was going to be good, but we was on, like, if we was away game, we was getting hyped at your half court. Uh, if it was going to be whatever it's going to be after the game, it's going to be – if we was on whatever. <laughs> yeah. I remember uh, we, we was playing at Butler against BD. And, uh, you know, remember Stanley Burrell? I do. Stanley was talking crazy to Rob, and all of a sudden you just see all of the, all of the ball coming down. Whole 30th Street. Yeah, like it was talking to the wrong person, yeah, brother. We we <laughs> was we wasn't gonna tolerate no losing. We was practicing that way. Yeah. No matter what I got or Rob got accolades, it was a uh, a player that it was a Sydney that necessarily didn't get in the game, but he'll give you everything you want in a whole yeah. one, You know what I mean? A whole row of players that was nah, that's what I see. Our team was fire. Nah, yeah. And you had somebody like him in eighth, seventh, eighth grade that's gonna Kill an older like it was so different. Like they even if you weren't a hooper, they don't know yeah. about them open gyms, bro. Oh them open gyms we was having, y'all think Rico Hines, this NBA shit is, bro. Them open gyms when I was in seventh, sixth, seventh grade coming to play with them, bro, was crazy, bro. Like really was, bro. You got Andre Owens pulling up all them. You got uh whoever there, C Lee's, everybody, bro. G Hills, uh, T Wee, bro. You name it, from out here, they was there, bro. Chewy had me coming to that shit, me and Jeff Young. I was like, damn, bro, I got to get in the gym. These niggas cold CT, like all the legends, bro. Y'all niggas dogs, though. Bro, nothing but dogs. You couldn't get on the court, bro. Nothing but dogs, bro. That's why you don't see shit like that no more. That's why why it's different, bro. You could not get on the court back then, bro. A lot of that shit, I I do give it to Chewy in an aspect because it might be 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning, you come to school, he might bump you in the hallway and knock all your books down and be like, if you got a problem, I'll be on the court. Like, Chewy was just that type of <laughs> Mike from here at the gym with no shirt on, with an attitude, check ball. With no draws on. No draws. No draws. But facts, Dead sure. serious. No socks. He was just, he was just what a team needs as far as like, if you got a problem, we could do it this way or you could show me on the court type way. And that's the, and none of us was running back to our moms or nothing like that. We was like, "Mom, we about to show you." Yeah, that type of thing that you. Like I, I punched Chewy. I punched Chewy in his mouth one time, nigga. He chased, he chased me through all through oh, Pike, nigga. Oh. I'm running for he dead ass <laughs> probably gonna try to whoop me, bro. He is talking shit. I go, "Whoop, shut up, nigga." It's my coach, nigga. Chewy won. But the Chewy, niggas Chewy wasn't like. gonna tell. We wasn't gonna Chewy. tell, bro. Yeah. That's shit. The kids ain't like that no more. Nah. But yeah, nah. But uh, just saying like. That whole year, y'all run into Mike and them early. Y'all beat them. Y'all the top dogs. Y'all been the top dogs. Everybody hearing about that that LeBron James yeah, shit. What you think that LeBron matchup would have been, bro? Ball. If y'all would have, if y'all would have ran into them, because I argue this all I the time. I got y'all, bro. Yeah, I argue Brian this all Brian, the time. But I got y'all. Cause. I pick y'all every time. I had too many people, bro. Yeah, they they came to us. Coach staff came to us like, yeah, Brian and thinking about uh, trying to sell some merch. That we was like, bet it, and then they came back and was like. They trying to take the door. They trying to take everything. We was like, give them all of it. Yeah, it's Brian. We kept hearing about this whole, you know what I mean? And like I said, we was on like, you got to show us. And we was 12 deep. Like, Facts. Brian was, Brian's a really good player. And they had uh, Drew and they had. Uh, Drew won enough. Drew, you the mismatch. And, uh, Brian is Brian, but Drew won <laughs> enough. Baby. And what's the name? <laughs> Romeo. Before, Romeo. They had yeah. three players that kind of stood out, but. They had Brian and Romeo. Yeah, we, Drew, you was the mismatch. Fat boy, you was the mismatch. Wanna know. We Romeo, going, well, he, he, you probably would have guarded Brian, huh? Yeah, I would have. That's my personal. I got to know. And C. Lee would have guarded the other one. I got to find out why you so. Yeah. So that's just my demeanor. And then I knew my teammates were on the same thing. Like, there is no uh, going at just one person. Like, we all, we all going. That would have been a good. See, see my thing, so that would have been legendary. But my thing is, I wish I would have played that game because that would have, like, Y'all still was y'all, and y'all did what y'all did, but that would have brought so much more exposure to y'all, bro, because people really would have got to see what's up, because y'all really was like that, bro. Like, y'all all all was like that, bro. It it was crazy. I remember seeing, like, uh, 
point of registry room would come into the games. Uh, Darius Miles. I remember like that. I remember, like, that. Okay. it was so tied into, like, basketball, streets, art. It was just so intertwined, and, and it was just a great backing for uh, for Pike. Like, you know, it was just it was just moments. The open gyms was amazing. Like, just that, that experience, man. And we still all tight, and it gave, like, a – like, CT Nim was – they had Super Dave, Braxy, all them players. Super, that, was, that was crazy. So we had expectations. And then all the way until, what, a couple years after you, the expectation was, like, you knew you couldn't come in there, you know, crazy. Like, cause nah, of, it, it was, like, facts. unacceptable, bro. And that shit got to get back to that because yeah. we coached there. That's why we saying this. Yeah. But oh, that's what was the re- uh, recruiting process like for you? Man, I had, like, I be like out the way, like I don't even be on. But I had like I used to have like trash bags full of like uh, full of letters and camps and this and that. And my grades was kind of you know weird or whatever. Like I wouldn't. I was just now like my junior senior, like taking it serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and Mata, uh, who was at Butler at the time, like they was had me in uh, day school, night school, summer school. And any kind of school you can think of, just to, so I didn't have to go like the hard road, like yeah. military school. And I just got through. So in my mind, like everything that they did, it didn't matter anything else. I was gonna go, yeah. you know I mean? and they just happened to go to Xavier. You know what I mean? So that's wherever it was. I ain't know nothing about. I think I may have went there one time. I know nothing about <laughs> no Xavier, no nothing. Like I wouldn't even, you know, it was just pooping. And then you know, I went there, and then my last game of my last year. It was against Hamada, Greg Oak, Conley, in Lexington, where all my people from. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. it was it was like the perfect, perfect yeah. game, perfect storm. The, you know what I mean? It was, it was perfect, man. Yeah, so. that's fine. But yeah, you got to wear that badge of honor, bro. You was the Mister Basketball of Indiana. I didn't even get to do that. You did, bro. And like, that's just so legendary. I just want to know, like, all the work you put in from freshman year to senior year, everything you did. How did that feel when you got that you got that recognition? Like, damn, out of everybody, man, it's me. Yeah, Hard work pays off. No, it was dope, man. I, I got a I remember I got a call, it was probably like nine o'clock at night. And uh this dude was talking or he was rambling and he said, Mr. Basketball, I was like, You you serious? He was like, Yeah, and I was I mean, I was excited, but I knew like with all the other good players, ever since coach told me I wasn't ever gonna go, I'm gonna prove I went back on Petty, every player that ever got over yeah. me, yeah, I came back. It was a different conversation when I played you again. Yeah. And I was just going to stay on that same mindset, yeah. whoever I ran across. Like, it wasn't ever going to be like, nah, I gave Cage 20 or 30. Yeah. It was never going to be no more. Not going to be me. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't going to be me. <laughs> never going to be no, me. No, that shit did. That's hard. Yeah. A lot of these youngsters, they think you go to Xavier, go through your recruiting process. A lot of these youngsters think high school is something, bro. They don't understand that transition into college is a whole new life. Tell them what that was like for you when you first stepped on that campus, bro. Yeah. Them first couple of days, them first couple of conditionings, open gym. Sean How was Miller. that like? Mr. Basketball at this too. Yeah. Top, top of the top. How was that like when you Dang transitioned? Fuck to college? about them. none of that. I know they didn't. Man, I, uh, I remember my first. We had a conditioning, so I get there, and nobody ain't no talking, and all you see is uh, players like built like war machine, you know what I mean? And they on these treadmills, vertical, and nothing but just running shoes and tights, running straight up, like, crazy speed. And in my mind, I'm like, hold up. Like, <laughs> what y'all like, doing? Yeah, what, what's going on? And nobody was in there laughing. Nobody was in there joking. Everybody was, like, stupid, strong. And, and yeah. it's either, like, well, I remember I got done. I called I call my mom. I was like, man, I don't know, man. She's like, you better not come back. Better figure it out, and she hung up on me. My <laughs> mama, my mom was like that, like. So then I got used to it, and then you know what I mean. But it was crazy, like all the high school workouts you do don't got nothing it's to do. It's, a, it's almost like a culture shock, bro. Yeah, my yeah. first day at Kentucky, bro. My first day, I'm having fun the night before. It's my first night. When my mom and them left, I felt weird at first. I'm like, damn, I'm here by myself. <laughs> but after I kicked out of that, I'm with D. Land. We go out, we have a ball. We wake up in the morning. Go work out with Kenny Payne, bro. My very first workout. 
I'm working out. I'm me, nigga. I'm like, this ain't shit, nigga. Bro, 10 minutes into the workout, I walked out the gym. I told this nigga, y'all got me fucked up. There's no way this is real. I'm leaving, bro. This is crazy. I walked out the gym. Ken, they laughing at me. d Lynn working out still. KP laughing his ass off, bro. He like, yeah, that motherfucker. He thought it was high school. This some whole different <laughs> shit here, buddy. You better get ready. You think you something. I walked out, called my dad like, bro, I need to transfer, bro. This can't be real, bro. 10 minutes of work, bro. It was so some of the hardest shit I ever did in my life, bro. Yes. Swear to God. I know y'all shit was crazy. It was crazy when I went to JUCO, nigga. So I know that it shit was crazy. unbelievable, bro. I was like, what the fuck is this? It's a whole, it takes, to be at that level, competitive, it's a whole different mindset, a whole different gear, bro. It really is. That shit's sick. <laughs> yeah. So, you picking it up at Xavier, you doing what you doing, but you you locking in on the defensive end. That's coming like a big part of your thing. What what went into that? Like you took, like you said, you took pride in that. People ain't coming at you like that. It's kind of player I want on my team. So what kind of went into your mindset? Man, I, we uh we was at the uh, the Crosstown Shootout my freshman year. We had a crazy squad. Uh, I'm starting, and my whole thing was don't get out here and embarrass yourself. Like mm -hmm. don't let James White or somebody like that, you know, make you look crazy or all the other, man. It was they do a it. stupid squad. Like, they was coming Lexuses and yeah. Zach Benzes. They said they could all go. And I just always, even in high school, like, it ain't ever going to be a point where you said that you killed me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just stuck to that mindset. Mm -hmm. If you kind of got me, I'm over fouling you to the free throw line. Or, like, yeah. you know, I just caught up my, my progression from there and just tried to. I got the best player. I, I got it. You know, yeah. I mean? like if if Sato, who had a crazy year, crazy uh, Euro League profession, I take the best player. You work focus on because I'm a freshman. You still you focus on the scoring part, like right. to kind of ease up on mm -hmm. players. You know how it goes. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna guard up. Mm -hmm. Nah, definitely. But uh, we I'm jumping all around. That's fine. Y'all want to. <coughs> I want them states. How 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 the fuck was that? But I didn't get to do that. Man, how, how what was that like? Man, it was my first one. It was it was dope because you got to see like how CT was. Like CT was the first player that I ever seen have a trainer. Right. You know what I mean? It was showing you a whole different <laughs> way of this shit. You know what I mean? And in the, the the other players on the court was just. Really, really good fundamental players. Like we had Darner. Darner was like low key, like psycho, like yeah. that loud, aggressive type coach. And we we got that one. Then we went to we played Gary Westside, and that one was different because they had a seven footer, they had a six eight dude. Like we was battling, but it was just like a different gear that we never could get to. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then that last one. It just wasn't even a question, you know what I mean? So having to be able to win the way that we did in a short amount of time was crazy. Like, I don't even know how that even happened where everybody was at the same place at the same time. And then I remember them bringing co – coach came in like, yeah, we lost this one, but don't worry, we got another player coming in. It was DR. Yeah. Like, on some, like – I don't know you thought was to be after, scared. After that Gary Westside one, I know you was – I know that one hurt. It was it was it was rough because yeah, it was supposed to three peak. We were so close to like I mean it was some it was some fighting though. Yeah. It was we we was just not some Gary niggas. It. Yeah, we yeah. we was bumping with each other and some you know, not on some nasty woods. Like I remember it was I mean, in them times where you have like great teams and really high level players. You're going to fight. You're going to get in house. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and that's what bring out the expectation. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not going to mess this type of stuff up. So it was some of that in there. It was the next day we back in the gym. It was. Because, nigga, y'all don't understand how good they team. They had niggas like Dominique Collins, yeah, C, C right niggas the that didn't even get He's on the court the bench, that could man. start for other schools, bro, easily. Bro. Like, Cole didn't even get to sniff the court, bro. Like, they had so many niggas. And, and, and me, like, Jeff and them come up under Dominic, yeah. his brothers, like, the way he handled the ball, like, uh, all of that, like, raw. you know what I mean? And, and I mean, 
Sydney. Sydney was so and then Devin, like it was so many good players. It was like, crazy, yeah. bro. One on one good players. Like I'm a kid, bro. I'm supposed to go to Northwest, bro. I'm a kid watching these niggas. My brother go, my big brother go to Northwest. I'm watching these niggas CT. I'm like, nah, I'm going to Parkers. Yeah. I got these niggas got some crazy shit going. I gotta be Parkers. Jeff, we 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 going to Pike, bro. That's just what we gotta do. That's what Pike used to be, bro. Like, mm-hmm. God damn, bro. You it used to mean something to go to Pike, bro. Yeah, yeah definitely nah, the school to go to. to mean something nah, to go to real. Pike, bro. I I like, no, nah, I'm going there, bro. So we got where we gotta do? We going there. Oh, that's shocked. a fact. When I came back. Sixteen years, I came back. We going off to places I never even heard of. Get smoke, yeah, smoke threw me off. Like, I'm like, <laughs> what is? Who is? You know what I mean? And and because they they got understand. This is what we tell our players. They think like y'all just old, oh, y'all niggas. I'm like, nah, do y'all homework, bro. Y'all don't know who y'all standing in front of, bro. Yeah. Y'all really don't, nigga. Like when we was in there playing, it's like, nigga, we trying to have a season like these niggas had. That's all we used to be saying. Be like Cage, yeah, nigga was be like CT, Jeff, and them got to. Yeah. That's the standard. But yeah, so going through all that, y'all make a deep. You make a deep run as Asia. Yeah. What was that? What was that whole journey like running through? I know what it feel like. I've been through that tournament experience, but what that felt like for you? And coming from Xavier, y'all a big school, but y'all not a huge school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what was that whole journey like going through that run for y'all? Man, my, my freshman year, we get all the way to the lead eight. Garcia had the guard from Louisville. Yeah, yeah. Francisco Garcia. Francisco Garcia. Then we had PJ Tucker. Yeah, niggas don't know PJ was about a bucket in college. Nah, he was definitely he about was, a bucket. He was a bucket. Rumbler, like, definitely yeah. about a bucket. Niggas don't know. And then uh, I had Luau Dang, killer. Play with him, killer. Yeah, like so we we uh we was I think we was up like twenty four, twenty seven to go to beat Duke in the lead eight. Big our big man fouled out and uh you know they had JJ Reddick. I mean they had a squad. Yeah, they had a squad. They play against JJ Reddick, that's fire. Yeah, it, it, the moment of that type of stuff, like it was I don't even know how I just still don't even know how all that in the players that you bump into and stuff like the caliber of yeah of um yeah players. What's buddy name with Gonzaga that was Adam Morrison. Adam Morrison, Adam Morrison was hard. Yeah. I had Motherfuck. him like handful. Two hands, Paul. Can shoot. Two handful. <laughs> can shoot <laughs> every <laughs> single time crazy. on the court. <laughs> then he might like lightweight say something crazy to you. Eat Some of the players, yeah, like he got he, diabetes. Yeah, got his little like, snicker in the half time. Yeah, smoking a square in between, <laughs> hitting the insulin joint. Like, <laughs> smoking a square in between is crazy. Wow. <laughs> can give you he looked like he looked like he hit a square. Oh, look, at, look at Adam Morrison. Yeah. He looked like no, he but was Adam Morrison was silly though. I he would, know. but he looked like he had hit a square on the nigga. Yeah. Give you fifty points. You know, like Jackie like, Moon out there. Uh, <laughs> cold. Yeah, Jameer and Delonte. Ooh, like, you ran into that? Yeah, they, when they was number one, we. Oh, they we was beat nasty them. too. Uh, what was that like? Carol, uh, Delonte went fourteen for fourteen. That's what he was hurting me. Huh? I, uh, he had them uh, ninety four. Barclays on all black. I still remember. You know a nigga killed when nigga remember. The I whole remember the nigga shoes he had on. Didn't sweat. <laughs> Jameer was 14 14. He said he didn't Jameer sweat. Was, didn't sweat. Jameer was on a whole other level. Like, we beat him, but when you start seeing players like that, yeah. That, I mean, Delonte hey. was still one of my favorite. Like, it was so, it was left handed. It was, he was thin, but. Because at that point in college, raw. you start seeing other niggas that's going to the NBA for real. Yeah. It's like, like it ain't like high school. Like, so you in there like oh, I know this nigga about to go to the like, NBA. Nigga, I, f- I remember we played St. John's. I ran into Mo Harkless, nigga. I didn't even know who that nigga was, bro. And he started fucking killing. And I said, I said, who is this six nine ass nigga? He's fucking hard. However tall he is. And then we played Kent Bazemore. We played Penn State, bro, in Boston. And I don't know nobody on their team. I'm like, we about to beat the shit out of Penn State. This nigga Kent Bazemore on the top of the press, long as hell, ripping niggas. Duncan, we like, who the fuck is this nigga, cuz? <laughs> I'm like, oh, college is, you going to see some shit, yeah. nigga. You going to run into niggas. Nah, that's who the toughest nigga you I'll play in college? That. <laughs> who the toughest nigga you think you ran into? I'm going to say mine, too. A, it, was a, it was a guard at Duquesne. Uh, Big B pops play with him. Yeah. I can't remember his name. He's smooth. He'll give you, he'll give you, he give, he give us 30 every single time. Him or... Delonte was, man, Delonte was just different, man. Like, yeah. 
he was such a efficient and he didn't move fast. Yeah. He was just everything was like a like at a his pace. Chest. Like he do something like this, your hands just drop. You know what I mean? He might hit you with the you done fouled him. He, he got playing the game fouls. smart. Yeah. Yeah. He, he playing like, the game up here. Uh, I knew it was Delonte because like you remember that nigga's shoes he had on. Yeah. So I already knew. <laughs> uh dude, Luol, his stride was so he had like a crazy stride when he ran. It was like awkward. Yeah. Uh and I he I mean I played against I guard him, so he played some dogs. He played some dogs. He was in that time. Yeah. yeah. He was in that time when college, when the Big East was the Big, Big East, East, when college oh. was college, nigga. Like, he was in that time, so. Yeah. Who was on Cincinnati when that year you was there? Other Max than Hill, uh, James White. I know y'all got that. Y'all got that rivalry. Yeah. Well, how was that game? Well, that atmosphere yeah. always crazy, so what was it like? That's why he said he ain't letting James was, White kill him. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I remember he got a steal, and I just, I was like, hold up, let's see what he going to Like, I stopped my crazy. teammate, like, hold on one second. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? We no, got this nigga finna do a yeah, triple with me. Swear to God. Uh, <laughs> uh, Max Hill played with another uh, four man. Cole. Was, uh, Jason Max Hill. Who was the other big man with Max Hill? He was crazy. I don't know. Cincinnati. If I say the name, you know. like, but him, uh, but they had, they had a really, really, really good, they always had good teams for Huggins and stuff like that. I got a couple yeah. of big men. He was just as good as Max Hill. Yeah. I know y'all rivalry. Like, I think our rivalry, son, they shit done came to blows for real. Yeah. Like, they yeah, shit is different. Yeah, yeah. That Xavier Cincinnati thing yeah. run deep, bro. Yeah. I was going to be on the other side of that because if I ain't go to Kentucky, I definitely would have went to Cincinnati. Yeah, I was going to be on the other side of that. Kentucky was cold. Man. Yeah. Nah. I was true. Sean Miller as a coach. I had Mata first. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Mata uh, recruited me. I went. He disappeared in the middle of the night. He did. Yeah, nah. Miller was Miller was cool. Miller was like a uh, East Coast, like really sarcastic, really sarcastic, but like I say, East Coast coach for yeah, you, boy. And, and it kind of was like uh, your coach, Cal. They was they tight. So the same demeanor. Uh, I remember he ran us he ran us crazy one year. So it was so tough to where. My homie D. Cole dove on the conditioning coach and tried to blow his knee out. He outside, he dives on him, then he passes him. <laughs> like, it was like that. Like, yeah, he, 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 but had us in shape. Like, yeah. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. That college conditioning scares me, bro. <laughs> I remember we got in trouble because of T. Jones. He stayed out the night before a game, bro, drinking, and they got in a fucking crash. Oh, we got in an accident. Got in a crash, bro. So he, he tried to walk away, but nigga, everybody see your big ass? Four in the morning. They see him. We play. It might have been Tuesday. We probably play Thursday. They see him, bro. Coach Cal sent that text out. Five in the morning. I don't care if y'all sleep right now. Y'all better get this text message. I'll see y'all at five in the morning. Nigga, I'm up in sweats. Somehow I woke up. I'm sweating. They, he mad as fuck. I'm like, why you mad at me, nigga? <laughs> I'm in the dorm sleep, nigga. He, I'm sweating, bro. We get up. We got to be at the gym at 530, bro. 2020. I got introduced to it. 20 suicides, 20 minutes. Man, we get to doing this shit, bro. We get to number five. I fall over. <laughs> Back hurt. Done. Don't give a fuck. I don't have to play on Thursday. I'm not running this shit no more. The nigga Coach Rock. That was, Coach Cal's not even there. He's at home sleep. Our conditioning coach in there with him. He said, you know what? T, I love you. I'm gonna let y'all go home since you did that shit. You a freshman? Y'all say thank you to Teague right now. He on some bullshit. But I'm gonna let y'all go home because I feel bad. I said, you ain't gotta feel bad. I'm not doing this shit, bro. I don't give a fuck. I didn't do nothing. I started cussing T. Jones out. Bro, take your stupid ass. You know we got a game. I'm shitty. I'm like, bro, this is crazy. College is not real, bro. But it's not even like that no more. Making me run came 20 the other day, They told me these niggas don't even condition no more, bro. So they just got their own workout people. Yeah. Since they all making so much money, it's like you expected to come in shape now. It's just a job. Just we give you two million dollars. You better be in shape. Hey, you You're not coach. doing nothing. Yeah, but that out. old school shit, mm. man. Yeah. Nigga lose sleep about that shit. Boy, with tears in your eyes, you done ran so Six long. in the morning, trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. like, bro, this is wicked. Yeah. So 
what was your biggest adjustment coming from college from your freshman year to your senior year? Like, what was your progression like? Uh, just working on my game, shooting, uh, just getting up a lot of reps, um, gaining muscle. Um, I think that was the, the biggest thing, you know, just keep getting reps up and working, you know, working on my, my strength. Right. Um, because after that first year, as far as we went, losing the coach the next two years, it was like, you know, you still have yeah. to do the same expectations that you did the year before, no matter who it is. And, and Coach Miller was already there. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we were just – and then I had Sato, which was kind of like I was I was watching. I mean, he might get a 1,000 shots a week, a shot, mm -hmm. a shot. You know what I mean? And he was able to – I mean, the, his body of work after college was amazing. So, oh, yeah. if you just follow the footsteps of three, I don't care. You you can't get better if you're not in the gym. I don't care. There's yeah. no other way. So, I just stayed in the gym, man, and, and was just grinding. Right. It's only one way. Yeah. That's a fact. So then you make it through your whole college situation. Had a great college career. Panned out perfect for you. Great high school career, great college. Now it's time to be a professional. And you go, trying to go to the league. What was them draft workouts like? What was your whole thought process going to that? What was just that feeling for you? I felt like I didn't do nothing in college. I was just not in shape. Yeah. But I, this is like high school, you think you're in shape. Mm -hmm. College, you think you're in shape. I remember I, when I went to the, the Bobcats workout, like, they were like, you had to do 250 push-ups and then play. You know, you like noodle that your arm is crazy. I'm supposed to do 250 push-ups and play. And I and can't even do 250. Then you see Jordan <laughs> walking across. Walk, it's like you kind of like you know ain't nothing you're going to do. Yeah. Impress him. Impress yeah. him. Impress yeah. the GOAT. So. And this bald head nigga ain't doing 250 push-ups. Yeah, like who came up with this idea? <laughs> uh, hey, what the fuck? Oh, so. orange eye. That, that, yeah. that, that nigga eyes is crazy, bro. <laughs> but, uh, that nigga ain't missing not a shot of liquor. He is goddamn. Y'all see that nigga eyes? Yeah, he His got, liver he is there. shot out. This nigga funny. God damn. In Chicago, like, uh, I ended up doing summer league with Chicago, did really well. And I ended up going to the vet camp um, in Chicago. Gordon. Yeah, that's tough. We just Gordon, talked Gordon. about this nigga. That's a tough day, boy. I, you don't even have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that shit up close and personal. My first game in the NBA. That's a tough day. Yeah. And that's when I realized players like that, they just missed it. It wasn't nothing that you did to make them miss. They just missed the yeah. shot. Like, and I had Luol was there also. And like <clears throat> a lot of really, really good players. Um, then I ended up Messing my foot up, and they had my had my rights, and I, that's when I went to Slovenia. Yeah. Yeah. So they, even though you was over there, they still had your rights. Yeah. So, to to the people watching, what does that mean? If you come back to the states, you gotta like, what does that mean? If I come to the states and I don't go to Chicago, I will be on the uh, G League wherever they go, and oh. I end up, end up going to uh, Colorado, which which right. is Chicago's a uh, G yeah. League team. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what, that's what that means. But, nah, that's what I was telling them, bro. I'm like, you go to the NBA, bro. You think of Kobe Bryant. Like, you go to the training camp, anything. You think of Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson. Them the big names. Mm -hmm. But you won't run into a nigga. At that time, I didn't think shit of Ben Gordon. I seen him in Kyle News Cove. Mm -hmm. I didn't think nothing of Ben Gordon, bro. That motherfucker is so good at basketball, bro. Like, it's, it is beautiful. The way he plays, floaters. Meaty. It's surreal, bro. Yeah. He's so good. Yeah. The NBA is a wild ass place, bro. It's so many niggas that's good at basketball, bro. It makes no sense. Was that was, was that who you was gonna say was the silliest person you came across in college? Yeah. No, nah, when you because you never told. When. No, 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 no. I didn't play. Ben Gordon way older than me. The best player I ever played in college was fucking Royce White, bro. Oh, Went to Iowa State. Iowa State. Oh, this yeah. dog was scared bro, of playing We games. never crazy. watched film on no team because we only watched ourselves, bro. This nigga, Coach Cal, we in the tournament. We beat Western Kentucky. We in the hotel, Cal, like, all right, we got film in two hours. And we're like, whatever, we finna watch ourselves. This nigga, it's the first time this nigga puts on another team's film. So we like, what the fuck? He puts on Royce White, though. Nobody else. This nigga highlight tape was incredible, bro. He looks like a fucking, like a Space Jam nigga. 
He's on there wilding, dunking niggas, all this shit. So we like, yo, turn this shit off, bro. We not finna keep watching this nigga highlight tape, bro. We like, he not that good, bro. We like, he not better. He not finna do that shit to AD and Mike. No way. Oh, my God. We get in the game, bro. This nigga is giving it to these niggas any way they want it. He dunking turned, on AD. He turned, dunking bro. on Mike. Killing. Destroying us, bro. I said, oh, this nigga's the best nigga in the world. I said, I ain't seen nobody better than AD yet. This the best nigga I ever seen, bro. Yeah. He was so fucking good. Only thing he couldn't do was shoot. shoot but yeah. he didn't have to. He was 6'8", yeah. big as a mother dunk, he dimes, handle, every way whatever you want, bro. And he talked cash shit, bro. He <laughs> knew he was better than niggas, bro. And he really was, bro. He was down Just there dunking Only thing that fucked him up niggas. was his, his that mental shit yeah, he had. He, he didn't want to get on planes. They, they told that. us before the game, they said if... if if it come down to a close game, at the end of the game, we're just going to foul Royce. He's going to miss the free throw. It's like he got like some mental issue. He, he just crank out. So he going to miss the free throw. Like That was our game plan. But that nigga was so fucking amazing at basketball, bro. He was LeBron James. I swore up and down. I called my brother. I'm like, because I, I first told my brother about Kyrie. I'm like, this is the best nigga i ever seen. Then I called the nigga about Royce White. I called him about 82. I called him about Royce White. I'm like, this nigga is incredible. He was like, I seen that shit. That nigga was dogging y'all. Everybody niggas. seen that. I was like, hey, man, that who the fuck? That nigga was incredible, bro. That's how uh, Greg was when we played my, uh, my last game of my career, Greg. Yeah. Was, yeah. Was crazy. Then I, it was left-handed, right-handed. Everything was above the he rim. He played all the college with his left hand, Then that nigga knee was cracked. <laughs> just, so, that's how you know we good. What was that like what, seeing yeah, to, Greg from freshman year of high school to that, Greg? Yeah, that's crazy. Man, that last game, like I said, it was my old coach and the, where all my people's from. Uh, Greg and where did y'all? What round did y'all play them in? We played them in the uh, thirty-two. Cause y'all beat BYU, right? Yeah, yeah. BYU played them in. The I watched that game, nigga. I swear to God, when y'all played Greg and them, I couldn't remember the round, but I watched that game. I didn't I, they I, went I, overtime. I still, I did miss one shot the yeah. whole game. Like I, and I, I watched. It. I'm like, that's Cage. That's Greg and Mike. Y'all watched mm -hmm. the game. I, Still to this day, like I, the free throw I had, and he took he took everybody off the line, which they just get in the past half court so fast. Yeah, and uh, the only I had missed I had missed no shots that whole game. Yeah, I made the I made I got fouled. He fake pushed me out of bounds, and I made the first one, put us up three. And all my kids, like when uh, when uh, the ball came across half court, and they did the dribble handoff. Luther Vandross started playing the mother. Luther Vandross, why? At the end of the, you know how to, on every uh, NCAA tournament, he sings that yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. In my mind, I'm like, he's going to make this. Ron Lewis, he's going to make it. Yeah. Half court, nailed it. And we're going into overtime. And then that's when stuff went crazy. But as soon as he, soon as he came off that handoff, Luther, Vandross. Luther the, the piano started playing. He said, I know it. I this know is, it. Going, this is perfect. This is the type of stuff that these type of teams do. He, he did cash, it. Cash, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's why they are who they are, and they was what they was. Mm -hmm. But I definitely, I was a kid. I watched that game, bro. I'm like, damn. Look fire. at these niggas. This shit just amazing to me yeah, to see these niggas fire. at yeah. this level, bro. Because we seen shit in crazy. high school. That was, yeah. That was, that was good, man. All right, so we both, I got to tell my side on this. We both done seen so much basketball and so many people. Who? What's the best, like, performance you've seen from a person? Like, any level. Like, what's the best? Performance you've seen from somebody. I'm gonna tell mine. Best performance I've seen. Uh, what pro say, level, high school? What? It don't matter. It don't matter. I'm gonna tell y'all mine. I would say. Uh, you remember? Uh, <laughs> you remember? Uh, I'll say two like. Um, it don't even have to be. That it was on you or nothing. Yeah. Like you, you just see, just seen, just seen it. this. You remember shit. Copeland that played for the Pacers? Yeah, Cole. We we played them. Bucket, uh, nigga. The big rival when we played at Austin or in, in Doug, and then we, we played them. They had him and this dude named Matt Rajeski. I know who that is. Played at Panathinaikos. Yeah, I play OC. I know who that is, bro. <laughs> Copeland may have had. Copeland may have forty and Rajeski may. Like these two, on two the niggas same, have forty and one. Then, they, then the big was better than both of them. Just the the, the when they set that team up, yeah, it was just. Uh, I mean, he was. Just, this, so this was your pro career. 
You yeah, know what like saying? it was just just because of the yeah. But my most incredible performance I ever seen, bro, was this nigga Kyrie Irving, and I gotta talk about it because this nigga Quinn gonna go on the internet and fucking lie. We at USA Basketball, nigga. We playing what might be U sixteens. He U seventeen. They got Austin Rivers, Quincy Miller. They are age, but they playing up for they a little older. So they playing with them. They got all them niggas. It's me, Tony Rowe, Mike Gilchrist, uh, Quinn Cook, all us, whatever. We going to the game, bro. We finna go to U- uh, USA, but we got to scrimmage each other. We got to scrimmage the older niggas because we had a little training camp in yeah. San Antonio. Man, we going to the game. We is who we is. You know, one point guard, Quinn Cook, Tony Rowe, we all who we is. So we like, what's up? We going to the game. This nigga, Mike Gilchrist, like, I tell y'all niggas right now. Y'all niggas is good at basketball. Y'all can't none of y'all fuck with Kyrie Irving, bro. I'm like, get the fuck away from me, bro. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, nah, 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 nah. That nigga is different, bro. Like, trust me. I, Because, you know, Mike went to high school with him. He's like, he's different, bro. He's a whole different animal. Trust me. I'm like, I play my brother, bro. He's in the NBA. Stop it. I'm not hearing that shit. I don't start because I ain't go to the USA the year before. I just didn't want to go. I was scared to go overseas or whatever. They went. Tony Road ain't go either. So we don't start. We ranked higher than Quinn and shit, but he's starting. Yeah. Nigga. This nigga Kyrie comes out. When I tell you this nigga scored the first 20 points of the game, I've never seen this in my life. The first 20. Nobody else scored. Nobody else touched the ball. Quinn tried to say we all was getting. It was Quinn. You know me. <laughs> That's my nigga. I Love Quinn to death. <laughs> Quinn caught the whole 20. Because in a row. Boom, doing uh-huh. his thing. Everything he said on his post mm-hmm. happened. Just happened to him, nigga. <laughs> it wasn't us. He caught the whole 20, cuz. I said, wow, bro. This nigga is amazing at basketball. Mike, whole time, every bucket, Mike Gilly looking at us like, hold y'all nigga, bro. This nigga is special, bro. And I called my brother. I said, bro, this nigga Kyrie Irving, I don't know if you know this nigga. He's the best nigga i ever seen in my life, bro. He's the best nigga i ever seen in terms of basketball. Just like... Shut up, bro. Like, he's a kid, bro. I would destroy him. I said, no. He's better than you right now. That was like, so you think he better than you? I'm like, yes, bro. I never <laughs> thought no nigga was better than me in my life. I said, this nigga is incredible, bro. His handle, stupid layup. He would do all the layups and shit. Shoot a tray, crossing Quinn. And I wasn't even mad at Quinn because I'm like, there's nothing you can do, bro. That nigga's too good, bro. I'm on the bench like, they like Teague sub me. I'm like... <laughs> I'm cool, nigga. I don't want to no smoke with that nigga. I never seen no out. nigga this good, bro. And, and the crazy thing is, we was at a tournament somewhere, and Tom Crane was recruiting me, and he was telling my dad, like, yeah, I just want to see Kyrie Irving. He's not as good as your son. Bullshit. He's better than me, nigga. Like, way better than me, bro. Like, he was, bro. He was way better than everybody, bro. That was the most incredible shit I ever seen, bro. I never seen a nigga score the first 20 of, a, uh, of the game. He didn't miss no shots. No, he ain't 20. Like, Boom. Nigga. Let's get to it, nigga. Nigga called us like, hey, it's this nigga Kyrie Irving watch. We ain't know nothing about Kyrie Irving. And we uh, start seeing this bro, guy. Like, this nigga crazy, hard. bro. Yeah, you hurt yourself trying to go out of here. Bro, it was crazy. And you know how I am, okay? Yeah. You know what type of nigga I am. So if I'm saying this, you it means something. That's how I knew it was Nigga, good. at the time, nigga, I don't, nobody, nothing. That's I'm still like that. You said Fuck this nigga was here. good. I'm like, this nigga's better than me, bro. <laughs> I never said that about no nigga. That's like, right. This nigga's better than me, bro. I, I remember it was as, crazy. As y'all got older, I'm whatever years and I started like they got older, see me Jeff. I'm like, I'm about to go. <laughs> to, I gotta go back overseas in a little. I'm about to blow my hamstring out. <laughs> oh, that nigga was cause it's like Kyrie Irving is like he whatever you do, he got something for it. Yeah. Like you go this way, cut him off, he got a counter. Counter. Cut back, he got a counter. You sag off, he can shoot it. Get shoot. up too close, he can go score. Yeah. That nigga, he that, that shit was shit. crazy. Great shit, great bro. Shit. I never, that's the only nigga in my life that I can say to this day that I played on a basketball court with, and I'm like, I literally cannot guard this. Yeah. I, there's nothing I can do. I didn't play everybody, bro, except you know, Russell Westbrook, but I feel like I could like sag off him and yeah. shoot. He was posting me up, but Kyrie Irving, I'm like, I can't do shit with this nigga. He is crazy, bro. That shit's serious. Holy bro, that God. nigga is so good, bro. When they say he the most skilled nigga ever, he really is. Like he be floating out there, but yeah. But uh, so now we get through all this. We go overseas. 
You start off in Slo- Slo- Slovenia. Yeah, Slovenia. I know that. So yeah, that was a transition. And man. a culture shock. I, I get out. Well, I don't even know where even Slovenia is. So, <laughs> Either. So, <laughs> Still. so I get out there. Uh, look like uh, I never, the sun never came out. It was foggy the whole time. Oh, no. But the, the team, Olympia, was, was crazy. Rogers was my point guard. Oh, you got oh, oh. Man. Listen, Super you League, Olympia. Super League, the first game, Omar Cook on the way going through like Serbian stuff. Buildings ain't repaired yet. It's, they take showers. There's no hot water. Was your teammate smoking cigarettes? In the, in the cigarettes. Uh, wearing sweatsuits. So overseas. When I first seen him, I said. cigarettes in the locker room was wow. crazy. Nigga, they smoking them in the shower, bro. I was uh, in Korea, nigga. They in the shower smoking cigarettes. I'm like. Bro, oh, what man. the fuck is this? Like, yeah. overseas is different. In the atmosphere, like, you, like, play Super League or chess, like, teams like this, like, with the spit guard over your head when you come on the right yeah, here. Coming they got in, that shit, nigga. They will beat your ass out there. How was like, that, though? Like, I was crazy. No fast breaks. I get no fast breaks. And that's when I started to, like, kind of appreciate Europe. I'm thinking I'm going to go over there and do, no, you're not going over there. Yeah. Uh, no you're fast not. breaks. You're not. There's no defense in three seconds. They got a seven footer, another seven footer. Uh, the efficiency of how they the shooting over there yeah. is crazy. Man, it's, the it's IQ was good. Crazy, crazy man. Like, what you mean, no fast breaks? They gonna foul, they gonna foul you. Oh, okay. that, that take foul started. They, that, uh, mm-hmm. Knock you, knock you into the bleachers. Yeah, that shit. Got, uh, the fifty of their cousins staring at you like, what you, what you say? Like that type of like vibe. It's like a. Football, uh, soccer type vibe. Yeah. They made a rule for that shit because yeah. they were stopping so many fast breaks, nigga. Yeah, took yeah. some free throw down, nigga. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. that shit, you have to better little ladies yeah. foul you. They yeah. do that overseas still, like they do it in different ways now. But get to the midi now. No yeah, fast breaks. Yeah, and you then you start seeing the players popping into the league, and you start you know seeing like well, I, when I saw him play, uh, like uh, I bumped into D Logan, yeah. Alba, yeah. playing Alba Berlin. I don't know if you know what the yeah, I bumped in. Is. I bumped into this yeah. nigga. Okay. So my, 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 my thing was always with him. I bumped into you. I bumped into Darius, D Logan, Dave. Like, I always would tell people, like, don't talk to him. Just let him be cool. Like, let him just get through the getting money. Just we, we played D Logan. DeMontez Stick, crazy guard from Clemson. Guy could talk him crazy. D Logan had zero points first half. He was chilling. Second half, he hit us with 24 <laughs> fast breaks. Stop, look at me. I'm, I'm sitting there, look, look at me, shoot, step back layups. Darius would just lead, lead, lead these type of players. So then we potentially going to play them to lose in Italy. Yeah. I said, just leave them alone. Yeah. Don't, we just end up losing. We ain't get to play them. Don't but end I, up talking to him. Don't piss him off. Just leave these type of players alone. That's the crazy thing about basketball, bro. This nigga, I grew up watching as a kid. Yeah. I'm finna play this nigga all the way in yeah. fucking Italy. I'm talking to him like, nigga, we in fucking Italy about to hoop right now. This is crazy. He don't like, he never like going over. Hey, I overseas, call bro. him like random, like. He like, you good? You, yeah. right? you need ink? Yeah. Like, man, yeah. I need to go home. I hate this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I need. But you know, he's overseas yeah. the whole time. This, he was damn near really lived there. He never even came right. back. Right. Like, he was there. I had Darius. Darius, stupid crazy move. I come over to have both his defense and shit. He throws a lot. If he's throwing a lot, he's laughing. <laughs> Con- he throws it. So I'm turning as I turn to go. Uh, seven foot dunks on me. I fall over. He already knew what, what was about to happen. So I'm going to get that out of the way, Darius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, uh, niggas it was, don't know, bro. Yeah. Over, that, over that pond, bro. Yeah. That's a different life because it's, it's a different basketball game. But it's a different lifestyle, bro. Yeah. Like everything you know over here, it's go over there, just forget yeah. all that shit. It's way different, bro. It's different. Just, you can't even talk to your people because it's different times. Yeah, we on sleep, y'all up. We up. Yeah. Even, Who? even getting over there, like, like I will come back in <clears throat> mid June. Got to be back. Then they used to come home for like two weeks, nigga. And then leave. The, yeah, the conditioning, like. Felt like I hadn't done nothing. Like the the amount of running that you do, the the lack of, like even on the biggest clubs, it's still nowhere nowhere near. You can play for Barcelona, it's nowhere yeah. near like Kentucky's facility. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and they're making really good money, but like just old. A lot yeah. of this shit is just old, bro. 
but the crazy thing, like you heard, they call the teams over there. They call them clubs. They don't call it. Yeah, was, that's what they say over there. But the crazy thing is, bro, when you fucking go overseas, you have to literally. This is why a lot of people ain't successful, bro. It's better, like a person like him, you go straight overseas, yeah. you adapt to the game straight out of college. If you go to the NBA and then try to do, a lot of people struggle with it, cause, cause it's so different, bro. It's are so you in the different. Gym? The games are unbelievably different. Just in the gym, working out, just. And them niggas doing just, two a days over there. Two a day, two a day yeah. practices, yeah. nigga. I, did, I was in one one place alone 14 years. Yeah, 14 years, one place. We did two a days every, even on the day off, you had to come two a days every single day. Two a days. Then you might have to take two a days. Then you got to take a train to get on a plane to land to go to practice tape nigga let me tell y'all a story bro i'm in russia bro we playing we practicing two times a day all day crazy nigga we go i don't know where we went we went somewhere in russia bro we play a game bro this is when i decided like it's a wrap no it wasn't a wrap (laughs) but i was getting close to that point okay it had nothing to do with basketball nigga we go to the airport about to get on a flight. We sit on a flight for two hours. Don't take off because the fog and the sky is crazy, bro. So we go, get off the flight finally. We like, man, what the fuck going on? They like, yeah, man, we got practice, man, in the morning. So we gotta, we have to get home. We like, what the fuck? How are we gonna get home? What the fuck are y'all talking about? They like, oh, we finna take a train. So I'm like, all right, cool. We get to the train. This shit takes forever. I'm like. So how long was this train ride? Nigga, this train ride was 18 fucking hours, bro. It wasn't no luxury train, nigga. We sitting in a little box bin train, like with niggas, not even with your teammates. We on a regular train, nigga. It ain't like no private train with you with your team. We with random people, nigga. So I'm in a train with two fucking motherfuckers from Russia that don't speak no English, that's white, that's looking at me like, the fuck is your black ass doing in Russia? They don't know I play basketball. They don't know me. Yeah. I'm in the fucking train. No Wi-Fi. Can't use my phone. Nothing. For 18 fucking hours. Man, that's crazy. And Man. then I get home. And these motherfuckers tell us we got practice in the morning. That shit was crazy, bro. I had to literally ride 18 hours and still jump off that shit and go to practice in the morning, bro. I'm like, nigga, I can't. I can't, bro. I'm not built for this. Especially coming from the NBA. I'm like, nah. It had me fucked up. It had me fucked up, bro. Call my agent so quick. You don't get me the fuck out of <laughs> here, him, man. bro, but shit, that shit ain't help. Even injuries. There's no such thing. Like, I had pneumonia, broke ribs, tore my Achilles took me out, bro. All that time management, all that taking pill, all that. Yeah. Uh, I took Nigga. ibuprofens every day. Nigga. It, it was, I mean, it was, it's a lot over there that they, it's so good over here, I guess I'm saying. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? And then. Players over there, the lack of resources that they do have, they, they can go. Did you ever go through a stint? When I first, I come overseas, I come from, like, in Brooklyn. I go to Israel. Nigga, y'all know what fucked me up more than anything? We finna fucking practice. I'm trying to find somewhere for somebody to take my ankles. They said, nah, buddy, you got to take, <laughs> take your own ankles. I said, nigga, I got to take my own ankles, nigga. I'm in hell, bro. <laughs> I said, I'm in hell, bro. I can't live like I'm coming from the NBA, nigga. You don't have to do shit, nigga. They treat you like a baby, nigga. You don't have to walk if you don't want to, nigga. I had to take my own fucking ankles, bro. I'm like, yeah, I can't. I can't. In, in, in uh, Slovenia, crazy, and the budget was crazy, but they would take, like I said, they didn't have no hot water. It was so cold. Man. Bro. man. I don't, I don't, I don't, that happened to me before in Russia, nigga. I know. Yeah. It's, it's right it happened to me, bro. Yeah. At my house, nigga. No hot water, nigga. I'm trying to take a shower. Ice cold. Yeah. <clears throat> it took me two months to realize they don't have pepperoni. I, I would order pepperoni pizza. <laughs> it would be pepper pizza every time I got out the, the spot. Yeah. Because they don't have pepperoni. They have salami. Salami, so, yeah. It took me so long to even understand, like, you know what I mean? Eastern Europe it's crazy. is, is, is nigga, you go I, out, they, that's why it's, they pay, but Russia and the snow, like the, the oh, it'd be negative 50, bro. Yeah. <laughs> negative 50 outside, oh, nigga. 
Yeah, they be like, wait outside while we pick you up. Nigga, I'm not waiting nowhere, nigga. Swear to God, I'm not waiting outside. It's negative 50. I'm going to hurt my is hooping. Yeah, I, to that I mean, only thing that make you be cool is when that check hit. That check. Bro. That yeah, check be first good. First couple days, then you back to. You be like, ah, shit. But I, I landed in the. I landed I ain't never seen this much money before. <laughs> it, it was, it was ah, shit. But I landed in the spot my last 14 years that was like, again, I don't know how, how I landed in that spot. You know what I mean? Like, you got married there. You did yeah, the whole thing. You took advantage of that, bro. Wife's there, kids was born there. Like, I still go back, retire my jerseys. Like, it, it was. Yeah, that's fire. You know what I mean? And y'all went to chip there too. Yeah, we yeah. Went to chip there, like it was, it was great. And to be able to be Western side of Europe, and you still playing like all the high teams. Yeah. And we had car. I mean, it was, it was, it was perfect. Like I still, I still, I just went back. How was that though? Like last month, winning over there. Like you won here, mm-hmm. and then you take your winning ability and win over there. Like, how was that? It was dope because like, I, I mean, we played like with the lockout, so we had. Will and all them like in the locker mm-hmm. house, and we just playing Turkey. Like some of the teams, I don't know. How, I'm sure the atmosphere there, you appreciate it. Like it was games was crazy. Yeah. Nah, they had you jumping almost over the rim. Ty, you just different. Just like, up. You know what I mean? So that winning part, it becomes like a you kind of figure it out. You yeah. know what I mean? Like what it takes and over practicing. And, if, if, if practice is not right, running back again. Yeah, but yeah. doing your role, doing your spot, listening to your point guards, you know, you don't question your point guards because they want to score for yeah. shot, stuff like that. But it, it, you, I started to appreciate, you know what I mean, the, yeah. the overseas type life. And then coming back here, I was like hesitant because I've been gone so long. Right. You know what I mean? It was like, man, do I come back? And, you know what I mean? But, but it was definitely like great. That's what's up. Two things I took from overseas, bro. Atmosphere, like what he said about them goddamn spitting things, bro. Yeah. Nigga, you be sitting on the bench, bro. That's when they be and going they got, crazy too, right? Like bro, they, real they loud, spit smoke on you, bombs, they throw shit. They, overseas is different. Flares, but and this, stuff in the stands. This is my most fucked up thing overseas, bro. I'm in Russia, bro. It's brick ass in the gyms, bro. Like it's stupid cold. It's so cold, niggas is sitting on the bench and with coats on. Bro. Swear to God, Scully's in Russia all my life, bro. We had coats on and scullies on the bench, bro. You never seen that before. No. Nah. I'm like, <laughs> that would trip me out. Mm-hmm. We used to have to run. It's that cold, nigga. Outside, then imagine like trying that. to play in that yeah. shit, dribble. The, it's freezing cold, nigga. Ball won't move. Because it's negative 50 outside. They got broken windows in the gym. Because, like he said, these things got money, but the gyms look old as shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the windows is broken and everything. So it's freezing in these motherfuckers. We on the bench, like in the coats, like. I'm in a big ass coat with the hood on, trying to play basketball, bro. I'm like, bro, I can't live like oh, this. Nah. With my coat on, we got the one outside. <laughs> my jersey over there, one. One outside. If it rain, it don't matter. If it's cold outside, they don't care. Don't matter. Ain't no running. excuses overseas, bro. Yeah, There's no excuses, bro. They don't care if you hurt, sick, nigga. Especially if you're American, they yeah. like nigga. Figure it out. That's yeah. why I be telling these young niggas: put in as much work as you can. Go to the NBA. And all that. If you can't, nigga, go get a good job or something. Because overseas, you got to be a special type of nigga to deal with that shit, bro. It's not for everybody, bro. Yeah, you got to have grit. You got to yeah. have a lot of shit. You got to be mentally it. strong. You have grit. Tough Stories skin saying, to do that you shit. Gotta have grit oh, to this have shit that is shit. crazy, bro. Shit sound like prison. Yeah. It's you, prison, nigga. That's exactly what it sounds like. You going to be talking grit. to girls on the phone, nigga. They, you going to be really talking to them. Because... It's nothing else to do. When you get home, they can be like, damn, nigga, you ain't talking to me the same no more. I've been in jail, yeah, nigga. Bitch, I'm <laughs> out. Shit they freed me. I'm out, ho. Shit is jail, <laughs> You nigga. come back, you want to tell a story. Like, as soon as you got the plane, you the first person you see, you want to tell them, like. Nigga, you just want to hear a person talk English, nigga. <laughs> 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 I come back from Korea. Everybody there, Ooh. I come home. I just want to hear somebody talk English, bro. I ain't heard a motherfucker speak like me in seven months. That's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Niggas in jail. But I, like I said, I landed in a great spot. And I, that's like my second home over there. And it's, yeah. It's cool. But you will, they will practice. He was he was in Germany. So Germany ain't bad. Belgium. Yeah. Next, oh, Belgium. Yeah. Belgium. Yeah. yeah. Belgium, Germany, France. That's nowhere near like Russia. Like, I was in Korea. Yeah. Russia. Yeah. Israel was, was amazing. What about Greece? Oh, uh, yeah. That's the one. I you, hate Greece. I'm calling Israel. Hey, going to be cool in Israel. Israel, Israel was good. Yeah. But Korea. Like crazy. 
I had, I Korea was cool. The work, the most like the Koreans is cool. The most fucked up thing about Korea was the American people, bro. Like my coaching staff, because yeah. they be trying to fit in with them and keep their job so much, they be on fuck shit, bro. Like if you <laughs> tell them some shit, like just think you talking to your nigga, bro. They gonna run back and tell the the president of the team and all that, bro. Like it's they, they low down over Some here. Lame ass niggas. Yeah, over here. I was like, damn, y'all niggas low down, boy. But yeah, but like Israel was cool. I actually like Korea, like the place, mm. like the food and shit was cool. It's just it's cutthroat, like yeah. China, all that. They it's cutthroat. They don't it's play that score. shit. It's out of school. And I was going over there. I was scoring, but I was diamond. They be like, shoot on four people. I be like, why? Everybody's open. They like, nah, 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 nah. What about we them? want you to score. Don't get <laughs> fuck these niggas. So that shit was cool. I ain't like Greece, for real. You like Greece? No. What about London? I love London. London like America. Oh, I love London. Yeah. Greatest place. Easy over there. Yeah. Greatest place I ever played. Yeah. <laughs> like, Easy I ain't there. like Greece because I ain't like my team. Yeah, I knew he that nigga. He said he said I fuck with London. Yeah, I love Easy. London, bro. And I. Hooping, nigga. London was it. They said, what, what, what did they come back and say? They said he don't play. He only plays in certain games. Oh, I didn't that's play. What, I didn't play in a domestic league. Yeah, that's what only played in a European they, league. They told me. Already. They brought. They they brought me there for that though. Yeah. They was like, we only gonna, we gonna pay you just to play in this league. So I ain't had to. When they played the other games, I be chilling, nigga. I ain't practice, nigga. I go to <laughs> practice. I shoot like forty shots and leave. Like I was chilling, nigga. I heard that. Getting a bag. I'm like, this shit. I do this shit for the next 10 years. We was playing the game a lot when he was in money. Like, y'all niggas on the game? I'm like, this nigga got time. Yeah, they speak English. They got Popeyes, bro. Yeah, they're they, it's you damn near in the middle. Downtown, fire. People in the trenches got a haircut in that bitch. Getting cuts. <laughs> doing everything. <laughs> Living good. <laughs> getting cut. You know that. All right. What's your top five? I got to. We got to get into a top five out of pipe, bro. Put you on the spot. Fuck it. And keep it real. Fuck you. And you can put yourself in there too. Of course. All right. Let me go. Let me go. In no order. Or you want in order? Do whatever you want. You got CT. Facts. Then you got. Uh, CT. I, I'm going to go with both of y'all because I got to shoot the block shot. So, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to go both keys. I'm going to go, uh, I was a, a real big fan of uh, Super Dog. That's another Teague, too. That's Dave Teague. You don't yeah. know him. I was a big fan. Like, me and me and was close, bro. My last one, uh, Black Sheep. Damn. Just because. He going to love to hear that, too. I, that That's my dog. I, I'm not going to put myself. Self in there, Cap. I would say RJ. Well, I'm just saying for me, I would say RJ, but he didn't really go crazy until later. Yeah, his senior year. C Lee, because I play with him. Like I'm, a, I'm gonna go with people that I got a chance to step out yeah. and watch. You know All right, I mean? so I'm gonna tell you mine. I got CT, J Cage. I love Super Dave and them, but he only did it for a little bit. He ain't do it all four. Like, yeah. I wasn't going to go BR, but. Jeff ain't do it. I ain't going to go BR either because he ain't do it. Oh, all. That's true. That's true. So I'm going to go. I guess I that's kind of go for a lot of niggas. I'm going to go U, C, T, J, uh, Jeff, C, Lee. And then that that's kind of. I don't want to say me, but I, I got to say me because, like, fuck it. I'll put yourself in there. So I'll yeah. nah, put bro. C. Lee in there if I took uh, um, Super Dave. I'll put C. Lee. Um, but there's so many, like, older players that was. See, I went, I know that, but I wasn't trying to go there. I'm going, you know where I'm going, from yeah, CT yeah. on type shit. Yeah. Some of them, like, I, I took some parts from their game. Players I took parts from games besides, I would say, with both of y'all that I would put in. Took a lot of yeah. stuff, bro. Yeah. And then my last one, out the city, top five. We're going to do that. Just Indianapolis, though. Indianapolis, D Logan. Yeah. Ooh, you going D Logan? I ain't heard that one yet. Just because D Logan be out the way, but D Logan was out the way because he did his thing in, in Europe. He's yeah. the best European player. I feel like D Logan came along late, too. He did. 
we played him North Central. I'm talking about high school, not pro career. Yeah, he, we played him in high school. He wasn't there. When yeah. he got to college yeah. and when he hit Poland, and you see that Poland and that, that trampoline was crazy. See, like that I ain't going. told him. I'm only saying niggas in high school. Oh, high school, high school. Uh, yeah. in the city high school? Yeah. Okay, I ain't going to go there. Uh, Carney. Ooh, I <laughs> heard that one. Carney was nuts. That. Let's go make AO shit. AO ain't going to feel that one. <laughs> well, AO, I only seen AO play one year. Ah, facts. But this I is your top five, whoever you want. I do remember AO. I was sitting in Bleacher. I do remember at Perry how good. I remember I saw him play one game at Perry. Uh, but who I got to see, AO. Um, Stanley, SB, Stanley Burrell was had a very good. Uh, oh, you got Stan to talk to you. He got a different type of five. I like this. Stan to talk to you. Like he'll say, yeah. let me get you through it off. Like he'll he'll talk yeah, to you. Hey, I like, like this. Uh who else was uh it was uh Mike Mills. Yeah, it was um I remember I liked uh I like Derek Stone Stan. Y'all remember Derek Stone? I don't know that. Uh-uh. Name. I ain't know. You know Buki? Yeah. Yeah, for me, Buki and, and Greg was like the the showtimes, like dunkers and stuff like that. Oh, you just said Buki name, that I, nigga. Yeah, Buki finna I, lit. I, oh I my god, don't nigga. post this. Buki but, finna run yeah, with this for the next twenty five years. Those were like the people that you would like. <laughs> we said Buki. Low, Buki in your top five. I'm off. saying no, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about. <laughs> hold on, I'm talking about Buki Greg. Finna Greg, go I remember crazy. like Greg had a had a, a hell of a game, and he was like, where he? Athletic. What school he went to? Uh, Big Daddy. Um, it's the most different top five I ever heard. I just remember people who could that I remember. Like, man, we, we he were, naming niggas who was dogs that that motherfucker didn't get recognition. Respect, I respect it. Uh, George Hill, of course. George was 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 nasty. Um, last Step four. One. You know what? I'm gonna give it to either. AJ or Passley? AJ Ratliff? Come on, mine from when I was there. Ooh, AJ Ratliff? No, I'm talking about ever. Like, just not like Oscar Robinson, but like, well, hold on, let me, from mine okay. to yours let me, to CT. CT, Eric Gordon. Now we talk. Yeah. Uh, CT, Eric Gordon. Um, now we talking. I seen y'all play. I would go with both of y'all. Y'all was wild. And my last one, who was just crazy, I would give it to. I would give it to Carney because he, he would, he would put a team on it. He would put Northwest on his back. Nah, in fact, so I would go. And he come, he, he come from the West with it. Yeah. yeah. But my top five, we fucked this up last time. My top five, I got a new one. I'm going. Greg Oden, CT, Eric Gordon. Is Greg from here? He he played he here. Played. Play high school here, but we got to. Yeah. I'm going CT, Greg Oden, Eric Gordon, my brother. I got to go George Hill, bro. George, man, George was crazy. Top, this top five. Now, top 10 get tricky, but top five, I got to go. It, it made me so mad, like, when people be saying league players are not good. Because George was a facilitator. Yeah. But George was, George was. 40. Like anybody. Like, 40. Yeah. Nigga, George averaged 40. He went to leave from IUPUI, nigga. He good, George, nigga. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, that's a silly top five, man. Yeah. Yeah, last time I had Z-Ball in. He ain't even from the city and shit. You yeah. feel me? You can't do top now, five Now, we Indiana. did that top five in Indiana. Shit, Indiana. It'd be different. Z-Ball was, Z-Ball was man. I remember Z-Ball played with Bay. Did you play Sean May in high school? Yeah. Where did I play? Sean, I did. And one year, push you real hard. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pipe. Real hard, bro. Yeah. Was he, I don't know, bro. That that top and Jeffrey, they had him and Jerry Jeffrey. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Sean May and Jerry Jeffries in high school. Good luck. They, they was you think y'all would have beat? Did y'all play them? Smack them. Stop it. We <laughs> said they the greatest <laughs> team look. nigga in history from for a reason. Stop like, it. We, we, yeah, we, we played them. But Zebo was nuts. Zebo played with, like I said, he played with Bet. Yeah. Zebo used to get tired and untie his shoes. Yeah. Take a 45 minute tire shoe bag. Best would go crazy game. Yeah, but Zebo was. Oh, Zebo. Nah, Zebo man. Gangster. He don't give a fuck. Yeah. 
appreciate you for pulling up on us, man. Sure. Had to have you. The legend, man. You know, the legendary Justin Cage. Appreciate it. Sure. If you ain't no nigga, you better get near. <laughs> Thanks. Get on Google, do your homework. Thanks. Like, share, and subscribe, baby. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see y'all next week for another episode of Put Me in the Game podcast. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. For sure.